All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back here to the channel. Um, obviously, my name is Chris. Uh, Flyers lose this one 3 2 in overtime to the Nashville Predators. Uh, not the best outcome. I actually thought the Flyers were really good in this game. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it sucks. I mean, the, the way for that to end is unfortunate. Um, but with winning in Colorado, winning in Arizona, you got five out of a possible six points on this trip and you're on a six game point streak things have gone well you've played in well in, in really the past couple of games and um it's been a pretty good month of, of december so far you know hopefully they can kind of continue that in its homestand this weekend but for this one tonight um yeah i mean it was kind of kind of all over the place a little bit um at times i thought for for their Really, not, not just for both teams, for, I guess, the, the flow of the game. There was a, a good chunk of penalties in the first period. Power play still hurts the Flyers again. Um, lines in this one, Forrester, Couturier, Konechny, Tippett, Frost, Brink, Farabee, Lawton, Atkinson, uh, Delorier, Paling, and Hathaway. Defense, York, Sanheim, Sealer, Walker, Zamula, and Risto, and Sam Merson was in that. So Paling comes back in off of uh, the sickness. Mark Stahl comes out for Zamula. And then, as I said, Sam Merson is in that. So first period. Predators get a power play maybe 20, 30 seconds into this one. It was a slash on Forrester. Urson had a couple nice saves. Um, penalty kill has been up until this point was 95.2% since November 11th when the Flyers 4-2 uh, win in L.A. Um, that's 22 in a row, and then it ended up being, I believe, 23, 24 in a row, I believe, something like that, um, off the off the final score. But it d doesn't matter. The, the penalty kill has killed 42 of their last 44. So they've done a really good job recently. It's been a huge threat for the Flyers. They've scored shorthanded goals like crazy. Um, Predators would get the first goal of this game after the Flyers had a power play where they did absolutely nothing with it. It was a deflected puck that went off of Nyquist. Uh, he, it was kind of just like a, 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 just a shot through traffic, and Nyquist kind of skated through, went off his stick, and goes in. So one nothing. Uh, Atkinson had a chance for the Flyers on a breakaway. There was a scramble in front for the Predators. Flyers had a chance the other way with with some, with some pretty good speed from Tippett, who I thought was it, – it's really hard for me to, to judge Tippett, I think, right now because I think he's had some some flashes where he looks like, all right, like that might be a play that Tippett could make and score on. Then there's other ones where he just kind of fizzles it out. Like it just fizzles out and he doesn't get the goal or, or even get a shot off. He just kind of like skates out of it. It, it just seems like he's making plays that – Normally, last year's tip it wouldn't make. So, I don't know. It's, it's been weird to, to kind of see that. The Flyers had three power plays in the first period, two back-to-back. -back. They get a hook, uh, two hooks drawn. Um, I thought, they, you know, they moved it well. They had chances. Coots almost scored in tight. And then um, Frost had a chance on a turnover from Nashville. I mean, it, it was a, not a bad period. Shots were 14-7 Flyers if they're one, but they find themselves down. Then it's 2-0. Uh, Flyers had two chances early. Konechny. Too Forrester, great save from Soros, who was fantastic in this one. Couturier had a chance after that. The Flyers were buzzing. They had a ton of chances. I'm like, all right, they're, they're definitely going to score here. 2-0. Uh, it, it's a delayed penalty. Hathaway touches it. They don't call it. So that ends up, you know, unfortunately for the Flyers, that ends up in their net. Um, again, it, they touch it, no call. And then it was all of Nashville after that. I mean, they had chances to... It it, it it was more of plays that, you know, Nashville would just kind of get in and, and just create havoc. And, and you know, when, when teams have kind of, I feel like, have generated chances off the Flyers, they've generated off of their forecheck against us, and they've cycled the puck well. That's what the Predators did. It's like ever since, like, like any momentum shift or any momentum swing would happen, Nashville would come back. Um, so they had a good chunk of bit here, or, you know, a, a good chunk of, of – um, zone time, pressure, shots, you know, whatever for pretty good while. And the, the Flyers needed the next call up until this point because it's like if you don't get that, you, you're, you're done at that point, especially because how good Soros has been. The Flyers, they they ended up killing off a, uh, a power play for Nashville as well, 42 for 44, like I mentioned. I thought they had a good period, though. I mean, they had chances. Um, you know, they generated a ton of offense. I, I really liked a lot of the lines tonight. I thought Brink had a good game. I, I obviously I'd like you know the first line. I didn't think it really the Flyers played bad. It was just an unfortunate ending with the with the goal from Forsberg in overtime, which we'll get to in a little bit. But 
2-1. Cruz would score. Flyers kill a penalty. Come out of the box. Again, penalty kill has been so good. And um, Couturier makes it 2-1. It was a beautiful pass from Faraby, just enough for Cruz to kind of wait out Soros. He tucks it in. About 30 seconds left in the uh, second period. All right, 2-1 game. We'll see how this goes. Too many men. Flyers get a power play to start the third period. Tip it. Chips it wide a couple of minutes later. They didn't. They had a couple looks on that power play. They didn't really do that, 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 that. That's the problem with the power play is the power play. It's not really giving you momentum. Like you're getting looks. You're, you know, I feel like every game I'm still saying like it's encouraging or they're, they're getting chances or whatever. The first game in the past couple that they've had like at least four or five power plays. And they just, again, it was encouraging. Yeah. But when you're not scoring on it and you're losing games like this where, you have three in the first period. You could have not three nothing. Um, so I mean, it, it's frustrating. But the Flyers do get a goal. Sandheim gets his fourth of the year. I mean, it, God, it was just a beautiful play. Um, Konechny got away with one on the the holding in, in the uh, neutral zone. And Nashville did. I mean, the Predators' second goal was was the same thing. So I'm not really gonna talk much about that. What I love about the, about it is just the fact that again, the Flyers they just they respond all year. They've done this. Um, obviously the, the ending of this game sucks and I didn't, I, I know people are there. I've already seen it a couple times on, on Twitter and stuff about, you know, if, if hearts and net this game, do they lose? And I'm like, you can't really blame. I, I just, I think it's unfair to blame Urson for a game like that. It doesn't really get tested like that. Honestly, I thought that that puck should have been blown dead. Yeah. It's probably not a goal that you want to give up, but I will say Urson has only played five games in a month. And I don't really like the idea of him basically only playing against the teams that are, you know, not great around 500. I mean, he's played against Columbus, the Islanders, when they were struggling before they've won. I think they were seven, around like seven, one and two in their last couple of games or so. Um, or they, they could be better than that. Um, Pittsburgh, right? They haven't been great. Nashville, they're around 500. I think well, with this one tonight, they're three games over. Um, so they were, they were 15 to 13 coming into it. It's not like he's playing against a ton of great competition. I mean, I don't really see how that's helping. Um, I understand backup role and all that too, but I feel like there's sometimes, you know, gotta understand like you're in a rebuild and the whole thing and and all that too. So like, yeah, you know, it would have been nice to pick obviously pick up the extra point and win this road trip, but take five out of six. I uh, have a really good game in Colorado, and again, the process wasn't bad in this game. They didn't play flat. They didn't really struggle at any time. It was just they just didn't. Unfortunately, just didn't execute it on, on certain things. And again, the power play still haunts them. And, and it's crazy to think because if they had a good power play, where they would be? Because there's been a lot of games this year where the power play has really just decided where the game has gone from the Flyers either losing or doing whatever. So unfortunately, they, they do not win this one. Um, my player of the game in this one, I mean, I it, it's, 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 I, it was hard for me to, to pick. But I went with Sanheim. Um, I, I because again, a I like Sanheim in this game. Also, he scored. That was part of it. It was a big goal. They needed that. And the one thing that I've liked about Sanheim is that the past couple of games he's been a little off. I thought he quietly had a good game tonight, moving the puck up the ice. It, it was like, it, just little things that Sanheim has done all year. Like he's he's taken the charge. He's understood his role. I think he's, he's played with, you know, a little bit of fire, too, I think, with everything that's kind of going on, like, off the ice. And he mentioned that, like, training camp and everything, too. So, like, you know, I'm, again, I picked Sanheim in this one. And I know the past couple of games I picked Connecting because how could I not? But, um, you know, again, it, unfortunately, it, it's, it's a tough one because, again, like I said, he loses this game over time. He had a lot of chances and, and, you know, over 40 shots on that power play still. Soros was great, too. I mean – Nashville, I don't think, is a great team. I think they're just kind of right there. I mean, Flyers will face them next week again. So we'll see. should be interesting. Uh, thanks, everybody, again, for all the support, as always. Make sure to check out the channel um, and like, subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. We've got a ton more other content recorded on the podcast here in a couple of days as well. Four or five guys, it'll be episode five of that. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, everybody, again, and I'll talk to you all again soon. about just hopping in and shaking ass.